Good evening, everyone. Um, hello, this is me on a Sunday. Um, I'm going to, I'm in the student mode so I can look at Blackboard like you guys. So, to recap, what's due tomorrow via email attachment is a research document. I have an example. You don't need as many sources that are on that at all. Um, but essentially, it's a work cited. Um, and use everything you've got kind of thing. And especially if you're kind of double dipping this for your thesis, like make this document look amazing. So, um, so coming up though, what you have in store for you is actually just two things. <laughs> we'll have another uh, discussion board. So let me open these real quick. You can find them under course content. As you can see, they are blue and green. All right, so A2. <clears throat> All right, so this um, assignment is called Conceiving Your Solution, and basically uh, you implement and evaluate solutions as possible, um, et cetera. So moving beyond assessing others' research or performing work based on previous created plans to actively participate in developing new approaches for community issues. So essentially, you're going to uh, make a PowerPoint that talks about how your solution worked. Now, if you're on the ground doing a lot of research, then you're going to talk about how that research worked. Research worked. But essentially, what this asks you to do is make a PowerPoint slide. I'll show you this in a second. Make it cool and uh, make a pitch. Uh, the recording or presentation, that can be a bit tricky. <laughs> um, there are ways. If you have an iPhone, you can record it as a voice memo. Um, I have a Droid, and I don't know how to do it. I'm sure there's an app for that. And then you download it on your phone and send it like to your Google Drive. I don't know. We can talk about that more as the time gets later to it. Um, what is uh, referenced on the sheet, though, is this website. And it's not uh, updated currently, but there are things that we can see. Da, 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 da. Okay, so essentially what you're doing is you're following the prompt for this event. That's what the assignment is. Um, you can choose between any of these categories, not visual arts. <laughs> um, this is a, like, that's normally like the category for computer science and some interesting science classes. We're going to stay up here um, unless you're developing an app. Um, but uh, this is actually better for what we're doing. All right, so descriptive, you don't have a hypothesis, but you basically have a set of questions. So depending on what you did for this semester's work and project, is you're like, all right, I need to get more people to come to X, so I'm going to implement strategies A, B, and C. Issue base is if you saw something going on in a community and that's what you're reacting to. This is your category is issue based. Um, you can still have a hypothesis, but basically you're doing research, examining all these things, which all of y'all's work falls in this category. And then, of course, you can do a basic hypothesis driven, like, I believe that if I implement these strategies, people will come to my building party. Um... So those are the categories. Um, we're not messing with oral. Okay, this is really helpful. <laughs> Why well, I wanted to show you this. So say you're doing an issue base, which is going to be a common thing. You click the link, you download it. Now I have a really old version of Word on my computer here. Can I see it? Come on now. All right. <laughs> Did not. Let me go. Okay. It's set up like you would want it to be set up. You have to leave this on here. There is no way to get, you should not, you can move it and make it a little smaller, but you can't take it off. Part one, don't take that off. Don't take that off. Okay. And it basically says summary of the problem issue. You write a summary here, subparts of issue one, two, three, or four. So you break your problem up, your community problem up into things, and then you the research you did in results. Here's the research. Here's the result. You can move this around a bit, but that's essentially, it gives you a template to start with. You're going, I don't know if that really describes me. So we'll look at the descriptive. Um, oh, crap, graphs. But if you have this kind of data, you can use that here. Um, history. 
All right. Um, more writing. I love how these things are put. More text, photos. This might be something that lends as well. Um, so, sorry, I got distracted by this uh, <laughs> this thing. I was like, what is that actually looking at? But this one, if you're doing a project where you collected a lot of data, this might be the best one to do, the um, descriptive. Um, issue base is generally where y'all might want to live. Um, but that's kind of how you form the assignment is you check out that, or oh, whoops, I knew I would do that. Um, you basically check out what it's doing. So I have to have a problem issue. You've already done this. Here are the subparts of their issue. If you look at your research document, you'll see where you probably had sub issues there. Um, Here's what I did. So I surveyed people. I went out and did things. I met with people. I handed out brochures, blah, blah, blah. Here's the results from what I did. That's all. It's just like the science fair in um, elementary school. Did y'all have to do that? I remember the only year that I did even well was I did, I tested the Ziploc bag test where you drop, you jump on it and you drop bricks. Um, can't remember if they work or not very well, but um, so this is basically what it is. It's college science fair, and you're going to submit a poster, which is just basically a big PowerPoint, and then you're going to have to talk about it. Now, you don't have to do this. I encourage you to, but you don't have to do this. It should be around this date. Um, I feel this is close to Easter in 2020, and 2020, but it's a really good thing on your resume. Um, so if you want to participate by next spring, you'll be ready, or you might even have something changed, but you'll have a rough draft. Oh, mama. Okay. And then uh, A3. Then we're going to do a reflection, um, and that's at the end. Um, but basically, you write a five-page reflective essay on your experience. I would not wait to the last minute, but also I would not do it yet because there's still a little bit more to come in terms of like what we can do and um chats and what have you but i'm just making you aware of it both of these assignments are due um via email by 5 p.m on 12 6 19 um so you basically just give me email attachments there's no place on blackboard i don't I know kind of where to do that, and I just don't like it. Um, <laughs> it messes up formatting on papers. I don't know. I have, I'm, it probably doesn't do it anymore. That's gripe from 19... No, 2007. Okay, anyway. So you'll have a reflection due at the end of the semester. It's just basically kind of an overview telling me what you thought of the class in case you don't fill out the, um, the teacher eval forms. <laughs> I'll have something. Um, but also that's a QEP thing. They want you to reflect on learning. I'll talk about that more um, a little later. But what you need to focus on now is wrapping up your research and transferring it into something that you could tell someone about with a visual so you can reference the visual in three minutes, like an elevator speech. You're just pitching the idea. So I figured out there's this problem, see? And I was like, what if I tried this? And then I went and tried it, and then I tried a couple other things. And you know what I found out? La, 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 the end. It's a guy at a gas station story. So don't overthink it, but also think creatively. Um, how would you tell the story of your project? How would you get people interested? Um, these are really the last assignments for the whole course, as you can kind of tell when we go back on Blackboard and course content. A1, A2, I'm pointing with my finger. A1, A2, A3, those are the assignments. Um, so what you'll be doing basically is working on those things. And if you want to present it, you can even present it like in a little video if you wanted, like I can, t I, I know how to do this now. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> um, so yeah, uh, you've got a couple assignments. They're not due till the end of the semester, but I'm giving to you, giving them to you midway through. And if you have any questions and need to work through things, definitely talk to me. We will have probably, so we're in October, we're going to have two more discussion board questions, one in October and the other in November. Um, probably, hmm, maybe next week we'll do this month's one and then 
uh, middle, middle of November should be good for the last one. But so we can talk to each other and keep each other up to date on projects and things like that. Um, so uh, welcome to the end of the semester <laughs> a bit early. You're welcome to keep researching and finding new ways of doing that because now you know kind of where you're aiming for. I would totally change my research if I had a new prompt. So um, not all the way, but just a little bit. Um, and if you guys want to do surveys and have me pass them out to my students, they'll be more than happy to do them. <laughs> so that's a that's a thing. Survey Monkey, give me a good link. Um, that's always something you can do too. So how can you have a clever pitch? Um, if you've not been to Research and Scholarship Day before, I was a co-chair of the committee for a long time and I've been a judge many times. Um, it's basically, uh, you know, like like I said, a science fair, show and tell. So that's kind of what you're doing right now is you're making cool things. So let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be back in touch. And I highly anticipate your research documents. Have a good one.